Okay, uh, I just want to explain a few things about the uh, the two circuits here. There's actually two circuits on this board. This half is a CT sensor, this half is the AC sensor. Alright, so what we have here, we have the AC input coming right into the breadboard. It's a 110 volt AC to 9 volt AC converter, so it's a AC to AC converter. Um, I, I wasn't worried about resistance or even uh, making sure that it uh, it was exactly 9 volts. In fact, it came out to about 11 volts AC when I tested it with a multimeter. Um, we take the the positive lead, runs into the runs into the first 100 k ohm resistor. We've got a 10 k ohm or a 10 ohm resistor here that uh, is is called the burden resistor. What this does is up to this point in the circuit at the end of this. Um, up to this point, we have current. We don't have anything measurable. We only have current. So we do the we use the burden resistor to convert to a voltage. Then we can we can uh, obviously here we send it off to the Arduino for for voltage reading. Then on the other side we have the pulse. So what this does, what the what the capacitor does here is it um, allows us to bypass the pulse since uh, DC is a straight line and AC. Is, uh, is a wavelength. What we do with this is um, most of the, uh, the top of the pulse it runs through the resistors. At the bottom of the pulse it runs through the, uh, the capacitor. On the CT sensor side we've got a positive lead and a negative lead. Um, basically it's a, it's a burden. This is another burden so it converts the AC current from the CT sensor to, to, to voltage. So we can read it. This yellow wire runs to the pin on the Arduino the same thing, a uh, 10 U UF capacitor to sidestep the, uh, the waves from the, uh, from the AC voltage. Anyways, uh, I'll post the code for th uh, the actual amperage reading right on my website, Bugshop. Thanks.